Hi, this is Justin with the SketchupEssentials.com. Today I'm going to walk you through a tutorial on uh, scaling two-dimensional objects with the scale tool in SketchUp. So uh, this tool is used when, uh, when you have objects that you've drawn and you want to go in and edit them and make them different sizes or resize them, uh, that kind of thing. So uh, the first thing I want to do is show you where this tool is located. Um, if you go up to the top of your screen, uh, you've got this little toolbar right here of five icons and um, the one on the furthest right is the scale icon. And um, so that's the one that we're interested in right now. Um, and basically what you you can use the scale tool in a few different ways in SketchUp. Uh, you can use it to resize both 2D and 3D objects. Um, so in this case we only want to uh, scale a two-dimensional object, our rectangle here. So um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select the object that we want to scale. Uh, in this case, since it's only a single face, we're just going to click on the face. Uh, that'll select it. And then uh, you can either go up here and click on the scale tool, or you can type the S key on your keyboard. Uh, that's the keyboard shortcut for that. So um, I've activated the scale tool now. And if you'll notice, um, this tool, or when you select the scale or when you have an object selected and you activate the scale tool you get all these green boxes around the perimeter of your object and these boxes are called scaling grips and you use the scaling grips to resize your object so let's start off and go ahead and just click on one of these scaling grips uh, you just single click and it'll activate it and then if you drag your mouse around you'll notice that it'll uh, resize your object based off where you drag your mouse so uh, there's a couple different ways you can do this so the first way that you can scale your object is doing it uniformly um, and the easiest way to do it especially with a two-dimensional object is just to click on the corner um, the corner scaling grip because basically when you click on the corner grip and then you drag it it's gonna it's gonna do a uniform scale meaning it's gonna keep the same proportions of your object no matter where you drag it so now on the other hand if you don't want to do that if you want to reshape or resize or reshape your object and you're not worried about proportions then you can use one of the edge grips and basically what the edge grips do is whatever point you click so if I was to click on this point it would basically fix this point over here and then it would move your point closer to or further away from that point um, depending on how close you move your mouse to it and it'll resize your object as you go so you won't maintain the same proportions but you'll still be able to resize your object so um, let's say though that uh, you didn't want to let's say that you didn't just want to click and drag you wanted to let's say you wanted to take your triangle over here and make it twice the size that it was before so you can do that by selecting your object and then uh, you would click on uh, your corner your corner scaling grip here and then uh, with your keyboard you type in 2 and hit enter and basically what that does is when you click when you click one of these points and then you give SketchUp a decimal value it'll resize your object based off that value so um, in this case if you scale it to 2 basically you're telling it to to make it twice as big as it was before and then on the other hand if you wanted to make it half the size that it was before you'd click on the corner grip here and then you type in 0.5 and hit enter and it would resize your triangle to half the size that it was before so basically you're just giving it a decimal value of how big or small you want it to scale your object um, you can do this uh, not only with the corner grips but also with the edge grips so let's say I wanted to make my triangle shorter, I'd click this edge grip here, and then I'd type in a value of 0.5, and along this stretch right here, it would make your object half the length that it was before, but it still keeps the width over here the same. So if you wanted this to be twice as long, you'd click that and then type a 2 and hit enter on your keyboard and it would make it twice as long as it was before between these points. 
So uh, one of the questions that get asked, gets asked a lot in SketchUp is how do you mirror an object? You know, because sometimes you want to keep the same object, but you want it to kind of, you know, face. Uh, you you want it to uh, you want to flip it 180 degrees. And there's no mirror tools. Like if you use AutoCAD, then uh, there's a mirror tool. Well, in SketchUp, what you do instead is you use the scale tool. And what you do is you click a point. And then uh, instead of entering a positive value, you'd enter a negative value. So uh, let's say you wanted to take your triangle here um, and you wanted to flip it 180 degrees in this direction. So what you'd do is you'd click on this point um, and then instead of entering a positive value, you'd enter a negative one. And what a negative one will do is it'll take your object and it'll flip it over this fixed point. So if I was to come back this way and type in a negative one, it would flip it back um, the way that it was before. So you can use the scale tool like that to mirror your objects. Um, you can also do that with uh, corner grips. So if you click a corner grip and then type a negative one, it'll flip, it'll flip your object across the corner. So from this point across this point over here. So if I click here, type in a negative one, and then hit enter it'll flip this triangle across that point so um, the other thing I want to talk about a little bit with the scale tool and the two-dimensional objects is um, some of the modifiers that SketchUp has for this tool so let's use our circle for an example now um, so what you're gonna do is go ahead and select your object and then type S to activate the scale tool and then uh, if you look down at the bottom of the screen here, there's a couple options. It says uh, control equals about center or shift equals toggle uniform. So sometimes, and this will happen a lot more um, when you're dealing with 3D objects, but sometimes you don't want to use the corner point to scale your object. Sometimes you want to scale your object using your edge points like this. So what you do is, same as before, you select your object, you type the S key to activate the scale tool and then you click and drag well if you don't do anything with your keyboard you can see it's going to deform your circle and uh, you know we don't want that we want to keep the same proportions so what you're going to do is you click and drag this but then you hold down the shift key on your keyboard so right here if I hold down the shift key you see how it takes it from kind of an oval shape to a circular shape so basically what that'll do is it'll scale your object it'll scale your object based off of your uh, your edge point but it'll still maintain the proportion so you're not turning your circle into an oval so that's uh, really really useful now because sometimes let's say we wanted to take this circle and make it the same um, the same give it the same diameter as the height from the tip of your triangle to the base here so what you would do is you'd hit the scale you'd activate the scale tool and then you would click and drag and you would hold the shift key and then you can use uh, the inferences system to tell it okay you want this endpoint here to go to the same point as your endpoint of your triangle and it'll um, maintain your proportions while making it the same size as this triangle and then if you wanted to really make sure that you were precise on it you know you do it from the other point now and you just line it up with the tip of the triangle there and so now your circle is exactly the same diameter as the height of your triangle so the last thing that I want to talk about with the scale tool is sometimes um, and this happens a lot more when you deal with the three-dimensional objects which we're gonna get get into in my next video but sometimes when you're uh, scaling an object uh, especially a circular object, uh, you want to scale it based off the center of your circle instead of the edges of your circle. So uh, right now, if I use the scale tool and click and drag, then it's fixing this point over here. Um, and you can only um, edit your circle you know based off of using an opposite point from the far side of your circle but what if you wanted to do it based off the radius well what you do is you would hold down the control key if you see down at the bottom it says control equals about center what that does is it makes your circle scale based off of the center of your object instead of the edges of your object so if you wanted it to be uniform and do it based off the center of your object. You could either use the corner or you can also hold down control and shift 
and it'll do a uniform scale about the center. So it'll scale your object based off the difference from the center of your object to the edge like this. So those are both uh, really useful tools and um, the scale tool is a really useful thing. You'll find it using, as your models get more complex in SketchUp, you'll find yourself using it a whole lot more um, to really get your shapes to be what you want them to be. Thanks for watching this video. Um, if you're looking for more information or more SketchUp tutorials, you can always check out the SketchUpEssentials.com. Um, also, if you want to click on the little image in the corner, you can subscribe. Um, I'll have new SketchUp videos coming out every week. And if you wouldn't mind, if you like this video, um, if you wouldn't mind liking it below, I'd really appreciate it. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next week.